Hello, hello friends, and welcome to another video. So you probably know from the title of this video that this is going to be my March favorites because it's already the end of March and I do not know where time has gone, but it is like 5.30 p.m. right now and it's still light out and like how great is that? I tried to set this up on my porch so you guys could have like a pretty backdrop but I couldn't get it set up right but can we just take a second and look at that view because it's really pretty. But I'm going to set you down now so we can get to the bulk of this video because I have a ton of goodies that I want to share with you. Um, I know sometimes I get really, really like excessive and extra in my favorites videos. Like I have a million things. Um, but I'm gonna try to keep this one a bit shorter. Um, there was some stuff that I wanted to share with you that we're actually out of, but that'll just add for more fun in the next video, you know? Cause I'll do an April favorites. I really like doing these. So I kinda wanna try to do them every month or at least every other month. I don't know, we'll see. But let's get to it. I'm gonna do, I have, some food things, um, some just life things, and a lot of apparel things, a couple little random like odds and ends for beauty and fitness stuff, but let's get to it and let's start with food because I always start with food. I don't know. It's my favorite, okay, I like food. First thing, this is queso cheese dip. And you're probably like, what the hell? But if you've ever had, I know Chipotle is queso now. Um, Cadoba has queso, and that's why like, I used to always go there when I was younger. But you're like, holy shit, the macros on that are so bad, like I cannot fit it in my macros. Okay, listen to the macros on this. For two tablespoons, which is 30 grams, zero fat three carbs and zero protein. And I mean, yes, the ingredient list is uh, kind of long, but it doesn't look like there's anything super crazy in there and it's honestly so good. Like I'll just put half a serving, which is one and a half grams of carbs. Not that I really like need to care if it's low macro, but I like just being able to add it and not like, I don't know, I don't want to track my queso, but um, if you are on lower macros or cutting, it's so good. It's kind of spicy. It tastes like, very similar to the Cadoba queso. It's a little bit runnier, um, but it's so good. So good. Like great alternative to like salsa or something like that. And I've just been putting it on my bowls. So bomb.com. Next food thing. This is not macro friendly whatsoever. But again, I don't really need to worry about that right now. So if you're bulking, hit this up. So this is basically Trader Joe's knockoff of Nutella, but instead of hazelnut, it's almond, which I really like the flavor of even more. It literally smells like chocolate heaven, and I bought this jar two days ago, and there's a lot gone, so. You know what the roommates have been up to, um, but I mean, the macros aren't good. For 37 grams, it's 13 fat, 21 carb, and two protein, um, but you do get a lot. So I mean, for me, I've been having this instead of like nut butter on my rice cakes sometimes and like a little bit goes a really long way. Like 37 grams is a lot. Um, but if you have a sweet tooth and you really like chocolate, this is bomb. It'd be really, really good in like oats or on pancakes or I don't know. The options are freaking endless with this stuff. But be careful because literally bought this two days ago and it's like half gone. We'll just finish up with all the Trader Joe's things, but this rice pasta and cheddar so it's basically like the craft like out of the box macaroni and cheese but you guys know i have celiac so i can't have gluten so this is rice pasta um and probably not like the healthiest thing but like sometimes the craving hits and i don't know i saw it and i was like i i don't crave mac and cheese but i was like this just brings me back to childhood so i've had i made this a whole box once and they'll probably be like a once in a while thing, but the macros are not as bad as you would think. So um, for 71 grams, which is two and a half servings in a box, it's 3.5 fat, um, 52 carb, and six protein when it's prepared. So it's not super high fat. And for me, like obviously with my macros where they're at, um, it's not difficult for me to fit this in. Um, so I literally just like made the whole box and it was bomb. Again, not something I would do every day, but so good. And it's like not expensive too. It was like, I think it like maybe a couple dollars, maybe. 
Okay, last food thing. This is actually super, super OG, but I forgot about them for a while. And then they came back and now my roommates and I are all freaking hooked. But Honey Nut Checks are probably my favorite cereal of all time. I feel like every favorites video, I do like a different cereal, but these, I don't know. There's just something about them. I like them way more than Honey Nut Cheerios. They're delicious. Um, I really like the cinnamon ones too. Those are probably my two favorite. But all checks are gluten free, so you guys know. I would say in terms of like for volume eaters, these are not very voluminous, if that's a word. Um, a serving's 32 grams, 0.5 fat, 28 carbon, 2 protein, and 32 grams is not a lot. Um, usually when I have this, I have like two or three servings, but. If you're someone, like, I literally could just eat these, like, not as cereal, but just, like, snacking on them. They're really good like that, too. One serving would be plenty. Um, you could also, I guess, like, mix it with another cereal, but they're so good. So I can't go a day without them. No, honestly. And then one fitness C, I guess it could kind of fall into food because you have to consume it, but um, <laughs> is it the new... Unico pre-workout. It launched a couple months ago, but um, they have two flavors now. This is my favorite one. It is, I think it's strawberry margarita. Yeah, and it is so good. So Unico has two pre-workouts now. There's the one, um, Athena, the normal pre-workout, and my favorite of that one is the watermelon flavor. For those of you who are wondering, love it. It's kind of like sour, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. This one is the Athena Unleashed, and it's just basically a lot stronger so for those of you who need like a stronger pre-workout i would highly recommend this but this flavor is bomb still haven't tried the other one i think it's kind of like fruit punchy um which i'm not a huge fan of but this one literally it's like a it's sweeter um but it's very like it tastes like a strawberry margarita minus the alcohol so virgin strawberry margarita i guess but it's bomb and it's so strong um you will get a little bit of the tingles with it um but i've never crashed from it either and i've never gotten like anxiety which sometimes pre-workout gives me anxiety or any of that kind of stuff so get yourself some of these with discount code lexi <laughs> these are the new um built joggers and they're super cute they have like line detailing that just kind of goes down to your calf um and then they are like tighter on the ankle but they're pretty tight the whole way through i'll insert a picture of me wearing them right now i love the other built joggers but these are more like sweatpants looking where the other um built joggers are more um they look like leggings but they're just like super freaking soft um but these are so so comfortable next um is this set from paragon so here is the shirt that's the back and this is the front um, and then like the matching leggings and I just started getting more Paragon stuff um, because I saw it on people and it looked really cute and I was like whatever and then I got it and it's super high quality I think I have a few things from them like a few of they have like crop top sports bra things that I really really like but the reason I'm picking these for my favorite video are one usually when I buy off-brand leggings like I stick to Lululemon honestly for me it's worth the money um, but when it comes to off-brand leggings, I really like Gymshark seamless leggings, um, but these are so comfortable. They remind me of the Lulu, um, I think they're called All the Right Places, where they have kind of like the detailing um, on the side and then on the butt as well, and they have like a little zipper right here. But what I really like is, you'll see this is the front. They, there's no um, seam in like your crotch, which, sorry, it sounds weird, but, um, it honestly, so you don't get like a freaking camel toe, which <laughs> will be the death of me. They're the freaking worst. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They're so comfortable. They make the butt look good. And then these tops, I have this in a couple colors. I just picked this one because it matched with the leggings. But I have a hoodie from them. But there is something about just having a long sleeve shirt where this is like pretty thin. It's like a sweat wicking material. Um, there's just something about not having a hood and like I can wear this to the gym and not feel like I'm overheating but like I can put it over a sports bra and like take it off if I feel like it and it just looks cute to just wear around and stuff in general um and it's cropped like not super short but just kind of like right above like where the inseam of like a high-rise legging or something would be so it's super super flattering too so I've really been digging these and I just kind of like wear them during the day um I actually don't wear these two together that much but <laughs> whatever they match 
So this company called Riderware, um, I'll put their Instagram handle right here, but they sent me some stuff and I've been really, really impressed with everything. But the one thing that stuck out to me was this crop top. I think I've worn it twice in the past like week. And oh, this sweatshirt's from them too. Um, but I'm, I obviously love it because I've worn this a bunch too. Um, but this is the front and then this is the back and it has this cute band that just says Rider wear. Um, and for me, it's more of a crop top because I have no boobs. But if you had boobs, it would probably be more of a sports bra. So keep that in mind. But it's super, super comfy. It's not one of those where I feel like a lot of times these bands, like on Gymshark stuff, it's kind of like digs into me. And like that's why I don't really wear um, a flex leggings, I think they're called, with the band around them. I don't wear those that much because for me, it's for some reason, it just like digs in and it's like not very comfortable or it like falls down. Um, and I find a lot of times, like pants or tops that have bands like this either like super super dig in or they like ride up and this is literally perfect I think it's just that it's not so like tight um and it's like very flexible so I'm a huge fan of this it's very cute so there's that also really like this hoodie um okay now on to well I have like one beauty thing and then we'll do like things I never have that much beauty stuff because I literally do the same thing every single day and I'm just like if it's not broke, don't fix it. I would love to get more into makeup, but I just haven't really had time to do that yet. But this shampoo, so I get my hair highlighted blonde. I literally, it's naturally almost this color. I really need to get it redyed, but um, I never dyed my hair until like a year, year and a half ago. Um, and I just get blonde highlights, but my hairdresser, she told me to, she gave me this shampoo um, it is Joyco Color Balance Purple. So, for those of you who get your hair dyed blonde, you probably know that purple, like, accents the blonde and, like, makes you look blonder, almost. So, this is just literally, it's a straight up purple shampoo that I've been using, like, twice a week. Um, I'll, like, shampoo my hair with normal shampoo and then use this, and I really need to do it because I haven't done it in, like, a week. But my hair always comes out looking just more, like, refreshed and more blonde because obviously if you get your hair dyed blonde I mean like you can't really hide the roots coming in but um it can start to look kind of like gross and I feel like it starts to look brassy and like this has been keeping it looking really really good and shiny and it smells really good too it smells I don't even know it just smells clean you know it's not like super super fragrant but I love it so um I got this at like my hairdresser gave it to me um but i'm sure you could buy it probably on like amazon or something if you google it um okay next i have a couple just like life things both of which i've been implementing into my morning routine and have been helping me get started with my day i'm just like such a good note i'm such a like organized person um in terms of structuring my days and my days look different every single day because when you have a service business a lot of my schedule depends on my clients or my potential clients um or on like different things happening on social media whatever um so for me it's really important to kind of lay out each day what I'm going to get done otherwise I'll wake up and all the million things I need to do but fitting them around a schedule that's not consistent can be really hard if that makes sense so the first thing um that I have been using is this productivity planner um and it sounds kind of like what but it's actually helped me a ton and I was kind of skeptical and I go through phases I stopped using it I got this in January and I stopped using it for a couple months and I've just picked back up with it um and so here's kind of what I mean you can see a page looks like that I filled out um I'll go to a blank page now but every day it has you lay out your most important task of the day um, so you have to do that before you can do anything else. And then it has your secondary tasks of importance. Um, so again, you have to finish those before you do anything else. And then additional tasks. So you can only do those once you've accomplished everything else. But basically it helps me to prioritize everything I have to do and then you can put down the amount of time you wanna spend on each thing. Um, so for me, it's better to have like five things that I need to get done than have a million things on my mind and like half do all of them. You know what I mean? So you can get these on, I'll link the website below and I'm pretty sure you could also probably buy it on Amazon, but highly recommend. 
The last thing I want to share with you guys is this is the devotional I've been reading and I don't talk about like being super religious a lot on social media or anything. I am religious. I grew up religious. Um, I'm Episcopalian so it's like a form of Christian. Um, and I started reading this for Lent with my mom and my sister. I bought it for both of them and we've kind of all been reading every morning. Um, a passage whatever the passage for the day is and it's honestly like whether you're religious or not I think that there's really good points and like life lessons and it kind of helps me at least to start my day with just a clear head and a focus and there's kind of always a lesson or something like I said to focus on um throughout the day and it's just been starting my day off on such a good note plus doing it with my mom and my sister it's really been really cool to just kind of like go back and forth and we'll like screenshot it and send pictures to each other and talk about it so it's been really really fun to do that and obviously I mean Easter's in a couple days and I'm gonna keep reading this for sure um it is easy to kind of get caught up in day-to-day -day things and um I don't know I think it's just really good to have like God and this as a part of my day every day so that's all I have for you for this favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed it I know there wasn't a ton of stuff um but Literally everything I named, I am obsessed with. So, there will be more videos coming soon. I have a lot more like vlogs and stuff because I know that's what you guys really like. Um, but let me know if you like these favorites videos so I can do them every month. Um, let me know if you have other video suggestions. I know I always say that and I have a ton of stuff up my sleeve, but I just always like to get your input. And comment, share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.